We are going to look at how to create an image using Adobe Spark. Go to spark.adobe.com and create an account for yourself. You can log in with Google and a couple of other ways, but it's free. And so once you're here, you have a few different options. Uh, right now I have no projects in my library, so I'm just going to click here to start a new one. And I get three options, a post, page, or a video. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to do a post. The first thing that they want to know is what do you want it to actually say? Something about strength. So they automatically sort of pour it into a sample and from here I can edit everything about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background. I'll click background. I have the option to either choose a photo or a color. If I choose color, I can just pick any color and it's just going to change it. It's going to be very plain. Or I can choose a photo. I can either upload my own photo or I can find some right here on the site. So I'm going to click that and I'll type strong. So a whole bunch of images come up and I just pick one. Now if I go over here Notice that she's cut off. If I just click on the photo, I can actually drag it right down so that it is wherever I want it. If I don't like this photo anymore, I can switch to another one. I can also adjust the scale of it. If I click on that, I can make it so that it's more of a close-up. And I can also sort of drag that around so that it's wherever I want it to be. Then I can also adjust the the way the photo looks, I can switch to a different filter. So lots of things you can do with the photos. Then you can also adjust this text. I'm going to click on here. One thing that I think is neat is you can just scroll around this and it will just give you all different kinds of options. I'm going to click cancel for that. You can just click on the text and then you can choose a different font. You can switch something like that. You can change out the background on here. If I just click like that, it changes the background. I can switch to this, I can switch to that. There's a lot of different, you know, options. And then I can adjust the size of this. I can just drag this and make it a lot bigger and reposition where that is. So let's suppose this is exactly the way I want it. Whenever I'm done, I click save, and then I click share. I can click create a public link if I want to just share it as is, I need to choose a category and then I would create a public link. And then I can take that link and I can share it on social media or email it so that people can go directly to it. Or I can just download the image and use it however I want. So if I do that and then I open that up, then I've got this and it's a, it's a JPEG image that I can use wherever I like. So that is Adobe Spark.